Hey yo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the uh, G.I. Joe Club Store exclusive, the Dreadnought Ground Assault vehicle, <laughs> uh, along with the figure Heart Wrencher. So this is, uh, again, an exclusive. You could only pick this up from the actual store itself. Uh, it came shipped in this nice cool bag here, and then we've got the figure inside and all the accessories. So this was based off of the um, vintage release Sears exclusive Dreadnought Ground Assault set, which uh, featured the basically the Dreadnought version of the Stinger and the Dreadnought version of the uh, Ram Cycle. So the Jai Joe Club came out and uh, gave us a cool version of the actual stinger in the nice dreadnought colors uh, we haven't got to see the ram version yet so um, don't know if they have that in the plans or not but still this is a cool set here and it's time for us to open it up and see what we got here it does come sealed with a just a tiny little piece of uh, tape here holding things together so we'll just get rid of that real quick and uh, see what comes in the bag Slide the vehicle out, and it's cool, it's got the stickers already on there, so that's nice. Uh, we'll dump everything else out. It looks like my table's not level because the thing keeps rolling off on us. <laughs> so we have the actual uh, Jeep, the accessory pack for the Jeep, and the actual figure itself. So uh let's see here we're gonna have to build this thing and then we're gonna have to do a review of the actual figure so um i guess we'll just start with the actual uh accessory pack and we'll save the figure for after we do the build so stick with us here let's go ahead and open up the accessory pack here it does come with another piece of tape on there so we're just gonna cut that tape off and dump these out and see what these are all right so we basically just have the missile system here so we've got the the cool turret system and the uh four missiles so some really nice detail work here um if you have seen the stinger the cobra stinger uh, these are the same missiles just in a nice new updated color scheme for the dreadnought ground assault vehicle so Let's go ahead and start putting this thing together. The assembly on this is actually pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot. Uh, most of it already comes pre-assembled. Uh, all you really have to do is just take your cool missile launcher system turret thing here. It's got a nice little peg on the uh, bottom side. You just find this little peg hole in the back of the actual vehicle itself and uh, just kind of pop that in place. Just kind of press down on it and twist until you hear it pop and uh, it's actually a two level pop so just kind of see it push down until it kind of fits in flush back here at the back uh, from there all we do is we just take our missiles and attach them to these uh, missile holders <laughs> there's four missiles and four of these little spokes here Um, and normally you just kind of press in and they lock in place like that. Take another missile, find that little peg slot, press it in place until it kind of just uh, holds <laughs> and repeat for all four missiles. The four missiles are all the same, so you don't really have to worry about getting them in the right place or anything. The ones here on the sides are, are a little bit harder, at least that side was for whatever reason. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So then the missile system itself just rotates down and uh, you're good to go there. That's pretty much all the assembly there is. Uh, let's take a look at some details here. So um, I really do love the color scheme on this thing. 
Uh, it's got this cool kind of turquoise green going on and then the dark blue and then the neon green. Uh, it's just really cool. Um, some nice decals on it here. Snakes thing. Uh, the top of it, we do have the, uh, on the back side here, we've got some really cool lights for the brakes. We've got a cool little, uh, rail system thing here. You've got the foot pegs on the back for the figures to stand on. You've got some really nice panels here on the engines. You can kind of see through onto the back here. Maybe if I can get the light to go up a little bit more. There we go. Uh, you can kind of see through to some of the detail work on the uh, back panel here in the vehicle. Uh, moving on to the front part here. We've got the cool little bumper thing here with some little spiky things. You got a cool um, winch. You got this cool tank thing going on here for the uh, front thing. <laughs> Another cool dreadnought decal. We've got the standard AK-47 here that is removable. Just pop that off and you're good to go. It's in the same color blue as the actual vehicle. Just slap that back on there. Uh, you've got some nice clear headlights or headlight covers. Again, you can see the uh, cool turret system that moves up and down here on the back. Uh, sliding it around to the side. We got that same decal again. And uh, beyond that, these doors do open. So they're kind of like the uh, DeLorean Goldwing doors they just slide open like that you got some really cool details inside on the actual dashboard that we probably can't see from here um and beyond that it's a kind of a standard jeep we've seen this in the uh cobra stinger and it's basically just a repainted version of that but uh, it's still a really awesome looking vehicle i'd been waiting for this guy for a long time I'd actually had set aside to do my own custom paint job on uh, one of the, what was it, the uh, Danger at the Docks uh, vamp to kind of repaint it myself as this version of the uh, Dreadnought vehicle when they announced this release. So I was really happy that I didn't have to go through the trouble of doing that. And um, it turned out to be a really awesome vehicle that uh, the G.I. Joe Club gave us here so that's really awesome anyways that is the uh dreadnought ground assault jeep The set also comes with a new Dreadnought figure. This is Heart Wrencher. Heart Wrencher comes uh, sealed in her own little baggie here with a file card and accessory kit and everything. It is taped together, so we're just going to go ahead and cut that tape off there. And dump this out so we can see what's inside of here. Uh, uh, let's start here with the actual file card itself. Uh, if y'all want, you can pause it here to read things. Pause it, pause it, pause. Uh, it does come with the nice kind of black back instead of the traditional kind of cardboard coloring. So I do kind of like that. Um, I do miss the, the red back. Uh, there was uh, some logic to the way they were doing this. I think when they did... Uh, Traditional vehicle drivers, they had the red card back, or was it the other way around? That uh, they had uh, red card back was mail in or something like that. I don't know. If anybody remembers, drop a comment down below. Let us know that. But uh, set the file card to the side. Take a look at the accessory kit here. Again, we've got another piece of tape to deal with. and dump so we have the uh, figure stand itself here so the traditional uh, cobra rays logo two foot pegs and heart wrencher on the front there so um 
Usually they try to do something like a Dreadnought and then the code name, but for whatever reason, I guess they just uh, left that one the way it is, but that's fine. Uh, we also get this cool crossbow. And I think we've seen this with a couple other characters in the past, uh, but it's really cool. Lots of detail work here. Very nice. It just uh, attaches to the arm and we'll suit her up here in a few minutes. We also get this uh, really cool uh, wrench. Uh, I guess that's, you know, heart wrencher. She's a mechanic, so uh, she gets this cool wrench. It is also in that nice uh, kind of uh, turquoise green color scheme that matches the uh, ground assault vehicle. And we get this cool looking pistol here. Um, I think we've seen this in the past with a couple of other characters. It's an interesting gun. It's uh, a little bit thin. It's really kind of pancakey, but some nice detail work on that anyways. So pretty cool. Let's take a look at the actual figure itself. So this is Heart Wrencher. Uh, it is a new character. Uh, I think she was introduced in the IDW comic series. Um, they basically have taken and reused some parts from Zorana and just kind of retooled things here. And uh, it looks really cool. I do like the purple look here. Got a new head sculpt here. Looks pretty nice. Detail wise, we do have some uh, cool silver buckles everywhere. Uh, the nice bomb on her shirt here. If you uh, look real close, she also has a tattoo there on her below her belly button so it's a nice little touch uh, moving on to the back here we'd have another silver buckle here um, not a whole lot of detail work on her lower half uh, some nice pouches here I guess for tools and things like that uh, her overalls that are kind of slung over her shoulders here or her hips it's an interesting way of doing it uh, and then really not a whole lot of detail anywhere else, so still not bad here. Articulation-wise, the head does spin 360 degrees, and we do have plenty of up and down motion here, so that's nice. Standard uh, ball and swivel at the shoulder joint, standard ball and swivel at the elbow joint, and we have the uh, upper wrist twist feature above her gloves. Do have the uh, chest twist feature here uh, and plenty of uh, ab crunch feature going on there, so not bad at all. Standard T hook at the waist joint, so plenty of articulation there. Do have a double knee joint, a uh, swivel, and a rocker here at the ankle joint, so all in all, very nice. The um, top of her overalls here is also movable so you can kind of move it up or down depending on how you want to do it so there's a, a better shot of that tattoo we were talking about uh, so yeah all in all this is a pretty good looking figure here um, I always really liked the uh, Zorana sculpt to begin with uh, so using that as the base for this figure is uh, kind of a no-brainer here uh, the head sculpt mm, it works it's uh, a little bit off to me for some reason. That may just be the paint job. I'm not really sure. But all in all, it does work pretty well. And uh, it is she is a dreadnought, so it uh, you kind of do get that vibe from her. So, uh, yeah, all in all, this is a pretty cool figure. It works well with the uh, actual um, ground assault vehicle here. The color scheme works really well, and it's just nice to have another dreadnought, in my opinion. So... Let's go ahead and uh, get her geared up. We've got this uh, cool crossbow thing, gauntlet. We've got the uh, pistol that uh, I guess we're going to put in her hand. And then you've got the big wrench there that uh, unfortunately there's not a good way to fit it on there. So we can throw that on the actual vehicle itself and uh, there you go. Very cool looking figure. Um, it's not quite as good as uh, Zorana, so uh, it doesn't get to the very top of the list. But it's still a pretty cool figure, and um, 
again, another Dreadnought is never unwelcome, so there you go. Here we have the figure side-by-side -side with the ground assault vehicle. So you can see size-wise, uh, this works really well. It's uh, Again, it's really awesome vehicle, a pretty cool figure. The two of these blend really well together. Um, and yeah, it's a really cool set here. Uh, as far as the vehicle goes, you actually have room for two figures inside, plus uh, two figures on the back. So you can hold four figures total there, so four Dragnocks can go on a rampage with this thing. And it is really cool looking, so um, yeah, I would actually say this thing is uh, pretty highly recommended. Um, I actually love the ground assault vehicle itself. The figure is pretty good, so uh, I would actually say, yeah, pick it up for the figure as well. So. You get kind of the best of both worlds here. You get a really cool figure and uh, uh, an outstanding vehicle in the ground assault Jeep. So, yeah. Cool set. Uh, not sure if they're actually still available. They may be sold out at the uh, the actual G.I. Joe Club store right now. Uh, but I would check there first. If they don't have them, then you're going to have to go to a secondary market or a... Uh, a dealer somewhere to try to get a couple of these things and they're pretty cool uh, they retailed for about uh, 80 bucks there about if I remember correctly uh, so at that price range it's a little high but still a pretty good set um, the actual ground assault vehicle itself is uh, very much worth that price in my opinion so you can kind of look at it as getting the figure for free so yeah Anyway, very cool set. Uh, I'm really, really digging this thing. So go pick it up if you haven't already. Track one down, and I do not think you're going to be disappointed. That's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below and let us know what you think of this set. Did you like the ground assault vehicle? Do you like Heart Wrencher? What do you think of the combination? Do they work for you? Um, anything else you want to know about the Dreadnoughts, let us know as well. And uh, you know, if you'd like to see something specific in future episodes, drop a comment down below as well. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and share it out with the world. Until next time, yo Joe, or yo Dreadnought.